Hi, this is Brandon with Android Advice Tutorials. Here we're going to do the Android 6 uh, Marshmallow update on the Nexus 5. If you have a Nexus 5, you should see uh, by now, especially uh, in your notifications, system update download Android 6.0 system update. Um, you can install it later or you can install it now. It will uh, may or may not have automatically downloaded, uh, just depends. Recommend full battery. I know it's, most things say like 50, 75 percent, but this is a full new system update. I would do it 100 percent just to be safe. Um, and you can go ahead and hit install from here. But if you do not have install there, then what you'll need to do, swipe down twice and go to settings, all the way down to about phone, all the way down. Oh wait, it's at the top. System updates. Sorry about that. Um, I'm at the top of the phone, so system updates and then here it'll tell you what you, you know your current update if there is one or you'll be able to search from here updates 406.7 megs if you do not already have it downloaded you'll have to do that step first uh, here we have restart and install so no matter if you get there through your settings or through the notification this is the screen you'll come to so we will say restart and install it always does its little 10 second countdown to give you an opportunity to uh, kind of back out if you want to, if you don't want to install it yet. I'm going to go ahead and kick off some of the light because it seems really bright right now and the screen is not as easy to see. There we go. can already see that this is different from the previous version of Android. And as with any update, when it gets into Android on its first boot after the update, it starts to optimize apps for the new version. Um, depending on how many apps you have installed on your phone, this could take quite some time. Alright, now that that's done, it'll finish booting up. Um, now once you get to your lock screen, just keep in mind that it's going to take a minute. Um, to connect to Wi-Fi or to your cell service depending on which one you have it connected to. Okay. So let's go ahead and unlock. Oh. Okay, if you had a passcode on it before, that's where that passcode comes from. Um, okay, you notice the background had already changed, um, but your phone pretty much looks the same. Um, no huge difference, you know, that you'll notice right up front. Um, one thing you will have to do is update your Google Play services as part of this update, because your Google Play services will be um, set up from the old Android system. Okay. Let's see what we got going on here. Wait for it to install. You'll see, it'll tell you here what's going on. Um, now once this is done, you will likely have a lot of app updates because there will be different versions for this version of Android since you're not just updating, it's not just a security patch, it's a whole new version. Um, you will have to update at least one or two of your apps if you have a few. Um, the whole upgrade process takes about 30 minutes, so I would definitely uh, make sure you have some time to sit and dedicate to updating without needing your phone. Once Google Play Services is updated, we'll just let it continue. Oh, there it goes. Um, we will go ahead and go to Settings, About Phone, and show you there, Android 6.0. Okay. Um, so we'll have another video kind of showing you what this means for your phone, um, like what new features there are and, and the differences that you might notice. 
um, here shortly, but that is updating your device. So I hope this helps for those who have never updated an Android device before and are updating to Android 6.0. Thanks for watching.